Okay, we're testing for the varus and valgus test of the elbow for the medial and lateral collateral ligament. So palpating the medial collateral ligament, the medial aspect. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm, I'm looking for excess movement, um, hypermobility. If the ligament has been torn or damaged, you're going to find hypermobility in a, uh, in a valgus direction. So I'm placing my hand, my fingers over top of the, the ligament, stabilizing the elbow and applying a valgus stress. And then I'm going to find the radial head and palpate the radial head and stabilize the medial part of the arm and do varus, stressing the lateral ligament. So uh, this test is for tendonitis of the lateral or medial common uh, flexor and extender tendons. So the first test, what I can do, have her do is make a light fist. I'm just going to um, extend and radial, radially devi deviate a little bit. I'm going to palpate the insertion point of the lateral um, tendon. I'm going to apply a, a, a pressure moving this way. So I'm pushing her into flexion, but she's resisting that. So you do that three times, six to eight seconds. Look for re recreation of pain at the elbow. Um, the other way of doing it is let her hand go into a little bit of flexion, make a light fist here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to re you're going to resist this movement and I'm going to extend the elbow at the same time, out like this. Okay? Reproduction of pain, symptoms at the elbow is a positive. Now, if I want to do the medial, I can, I can palpate the point here, or the medial epicondyle, the common flexor tendon, and have a just light fist. I'm going to bring the arm out, the hand out like this, and you're going to resist, resist this movement as I extend the wrist. Now, the other ways of doing this is simply having the person in neutral just make a light fist, and I'm going to push into flexion, holding here. You can do it like this, or you can also do have the hand in neutral, and I'm going to push this way for the medial, push this way, I'm sorry, resist my movement. That's another way of testing. So there's a couple of different ways of doing it. The method I've showed first is, is more specific. The method I've showed second, uh, just the hand in neutral, is an alternate method of testing for the medial, medial and lateral um, common flexor extender tendons of the elbow. Okay, we're going to do a test for pronator teri syndrome, which is the compression of the median nerve as it passes underneath the pronator teres. So we're going to shake hands. I'm going to attempt to put her in supination, and she's going to resist by going into pronation. At the same time, I'm going to extend the elbow. So a reproduction of symptoms being um, tingling or numbness into the hand, into the two fingers and the index finger, the middle finger, part of the ring finger would be positive or repro reproduction of discomfort in through the pronator teres would also be positive. So resist my movement into supination and extend the elbow. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a little nerve test with the uh, tenels. Uh, the medial condyle, the medial epicondyle, the median nerve, I'm sorry, the ulnar nerve goes underneath through here through a tunnel. And if there is any kind of peripheral nerve problems in through the ulnar nerve, tapping this will help to identify or reproduce the symptoms the person has been having. The other thing you can use tenels for is if the nerve is regrowing um, in through the um, ulnar nerve, tapping it will locate where, where the tingling is felt is where the nerve has regrown to. And testing, putting a line where the nerve, where the person feels the tingling, and every week or so tapping to see if that increases in its length will identify whether the nerve is regrowing or not. I'm going to do a test for, it's called the Finkelstein's test for abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. So simply, you're going to have the person place their thumb inside their hand, make a fist, and they're going to uh, all or deviate the wrist, and you can apply, you can bring the arm out and do a little pressure, holding here, applying pressure that's comfortable, mm -hmm. okay? So that's for tenosynovitis 
for peritoneitis of those two muscles. Okay, we're gonna do um, a compression test of the wrist for the median nerve. It compresses the median nerve as it goes through the tunnel and goes through the tunnel of the, between the retinaculum and the carpal bones. So what I'm gonna have her do is bring her elbows up, her wrists together, I'm gonna hold this and apply just a little bit of pressure. Comfortable there? Mm -hmm. Okay. 20 or 30 seconds, a reproduction of pain into the index finger, middle finger, and part of the ring finger would reconfirm that she has a compression problem with the median nerve for uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. She can also do what's called reverse phalans and apply pressure um, in an um, extended position as well if you choose to. Okay. Another test for the carpal tunnel, um, for carpal tunnel syndrome, is to simply palpate the carpal tunnel or palpate the, um, the median nerve as it goes through the, the retinaculum and apply, take your thumb, apply pressure over top of it. If re recreation of tingling, numbness, and paresthesia into the index finger, middle finger, and part of the ring finger is produced, then there is a issue with the uh, carpal tunnel and the median nerve. Okay, we're gonna do uh, Allen's test, which is testing the ulnar and radial arteries as they go into the hand. So what I'm gonna have Megan do is pump her hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and squeeze and hold. I'm gonna hold those arteries. And then I'm going to have her open her hand, open her hand, and I'm going to release one. And the, oh yeah, it fills back up. And then to repeat that, I would do the same. And then I would release the ulnar artery and see if it fills up again as well. So it's testing the medial, I'm sorry, it's testing the radial and ulnar arteries as they go into the hand for circulation, for any circulation issues.